right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sonico here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the most profitable coins to mine and how to find that. So a couple websites that I want to show you right off the bat is whattomine.com, all one word there, and nice hash profitability calculator. So the profitability calculator doesn't necessarily show the most profitable coins to mine in a sense, really just shows the most profitable hardware. And so as you can see, the Titan V makes uh, $3.06, but if you go out and buy a Titan V to mine with, well, you're probably gonna, uh, it's gonna take a long time to make your money back. So most people just have a 1080 Ti or a Titan XP or a GTX 1080, that sort of thing. So you can see about how much you're gonna be making. And right now the profits are very, very low. A 1080 Ti used to be making five something, maybe even $6 a day at its height. Um, whereas uh, the 1080 would be making just a little bit less, as you can see on here. So right now, profits are pretty low. On the left side, you can see ASICs and what they make. The uh, Antminer X3 right now supposedly makes $222 a day, but that's not really the case. Antminer was mining Kryptonite with these for several months before they had even released or announced them. And now on March 28th, which, in, which is just in a few days, um, there's going to be a hard fork of Monero, so these will actually not be able to mine Monero. So this is sort of false, um, sort of a false profit, and you will not actually see those profits. So don't buy an X3. But in terms of the individual coins, you can head to what to mine and uh, see what is is best here. So if you have a 1080, you can just put a one in here. Just remember when you get to the site, it's gonna it's gonna have a three in this box for the uh, AMD the the 480. So make sure you take that away if you do not have that and put a one or if you have maybe two or three, you can do that. And then you just hit calculate and you go down here and it will show you what the what the most profitable coin is at the time. Uh, so sometimes mining these coins is not oh, is much easier said than done. So going out and, and specifically mining Innova on NeoScript, again, is easier said than done. Um, and then, of course, Vergecoin um, is... Again, easier said than done because Vergecoin is not easy to mine. Most mining software doesn't easily mine it. You can head to pools and put in, uh, make a batch file with CC Miner, uh, but that's not easy. Uh, a lot of the times it just straight up doesn't work or oftentimes there's a lot of donation fees. Uh, so I think, for example, um, one of the pools has like a 20% uh, fee. Z Pool, I believe, has a 20% fee that they didn't really announce to anybody. Uh, so... You know, I typically avert, uh, avoid mining Vergecoin, a uh, little, little trickery of the mine there, um, and mostly NeoScript. Now, you might, might think, well, isn't this the most profitable coin to mine? Uh, so you need to take this website with a, a, a little grain of salt, if you will, because oftentimes you can just refresh this site in a half an hour and a different coin will be on the top and your coin that uh, you thought was going to be the most profitable is now 10th or 20th down the list. Sometimes Mona coin all the way down here is all the way up top. Sometimes it's vert coin. Sometimes it's Zen cash, Bitcoin gold. It really depends on difficulty as it fluctuates because what happens is a lot of people head to this coin, the most profitable coin. And when everybody gets on that coin, the difficulty increases and then everybody gets less shares. And then the profitability, of course, inherently drops of that coin. So really, the trick is is to find a nice profitable coin and kind of stick with it. And my opinion is EcoHash most of the time. Uh, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about NiceHash. So if you guys don't know about NiceHash by now, well, it's been a long time. It's been out for a while. Uh, so NiceHash has had its problems in the past, but honestly, it's an okay miner. It does the job, and it's very easy, and it works. But one thing you got to understand about NiceHash is that you're not necessarily mining uh, the coin that your computer is currently mining. I know that doesn't make sense, but you get paid out in Bitcoin, only in Bitcoin with NiceHash. So what happens is, is that buyers come along and they buy hashing power from NiceHash. Uh, somebody, you know, bids the highest bid for, let's say, uh, a NeoScript coin or an EcoHash coin, and then you mine that coin for them, and you get paid out in the Bitcoin that they that they use to purchase that hashing power from you. So that's why NiceHash can sometimes be more profitable and oftentimes less profitable. 
because it depends on what people are willing to pay for that algorithm that you are hashing at the time. And you're only ever going to get paid out in Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is great because it's the king of coins at the moment, uh, but it just is what it is. Uh, so I only have about $7 in, in uh, coin right now on NiceHash because I actually rarely use NiceHash. Oftentimes I'll use NiceHash for, for a CPU mining rather than for my GPU mining. And instead I will use a different program, Awesome Miner. So I like Awesome Miner uh, probably the best in terms of miners, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, combined easy miners, if you will. While you do have to set up some pools, and I have some videos on that, so you can go to my channel and you can just search for Awesome Miner, and you'll find you'll find my videos. I'm sure you'll find them all over the net as well. Usually not particularly hard to set up. Um, so, one thing you can do here is when you when you click on options and you add algorithms. So right now I only have Equihash and Lira two, and that's what I'm going to get at in just a moment here. But let, let's uh, just for fun here, we'll select a couple more. <clears throat> NIST five. Uh, Lira 2, Equihash, uh, NVIDIA cards are not particularly good at Ethereum. Uh, the new P102 card will be really good at Ethereum, but uh, it's not out just yet. Um, and also, NVIDIA cards are not particularly good at Kryptonite either. So AMD cards usually hash Ethereum and Kryptonite, whereas NVIDIA usually hash pretty much the majority of other coins. So we'll click OK here, because we have, uh, you know, the four major algorithms, I suppose, uh, clicked here. And then we'll click OK. And then if you go to coins, you can see which one would be the most profitable. However, it depends on what pool you are connected to with Awesome Miner. So Awesome Miner really just connects you to pools, which you mine on that pool. A little bit confusing, but you'll mine on this interface here, but it depends on what pool you're connected to. So I'm connected to Mining Pool Hub, and Mining Pool Hub, I do not believe, has GoBite on there. So it will not actually mine uh, NeoScript at the time. Uh, so the most, uh, the, the highest profit coin that I have seen consistently are both Lira 2 coins and Equihash coins. So I only have these two selected because what you have to watch out for is since you're connecting to most pools these days that you're connected to are PPLNS pools and therefore it's an average shares over time. Uh, so you don't get the, the most profit until you're mining for, oh, say, 12, 24 hours straight or more. Whereas NiceHash is a prop, or proportional payout system. So if I'm mining for just an hour and then I turn it off, I get exactly one hour worth of mining. So NiceHash might be better for some people who use their computer often and maybe will step away for an hour or two so they can turn on NiceHash while they're away and then they'll come back. However, if you do that with Awesome Miner, uh, you, you won't get a full one or two hours worth of profit. Um, so if we just have Equihash and um, and Lira 2, we can see that the that the highest one is is Equihash here, the Zen Cash coins, uh, Zcash, uh, Zen Cash, Z Classic, and Bitcoin Gold. So frequently, Equihash nine out of ten times is the highest profit coin for nvidia miners oftentimes a lira 2 will come up again i'm connected to mining pool hub which does not do uh verge coin or hush so i will not actually physically mine these because the the pool that i'm mining to doesn't have these coins so my my miner will actually just revert to the next highest coin that my mining pool hub actually uses so what i recommend is if you have nvidia cards uh, just select Lira 2 and Equihash on on uh, Awesome Miner, and it will mine those the majority of the time. Uh, the thing about Equihash coins too with Awesome Miner is that if Zcash is the highest, and you start mining that for a while, so let's say for an hour you're mining Zcash, and then let's say Bitcoin Gold, which is also an Equihash method, flips to the top and Zcash goes to the bottom, uh, you don't actually lose shares by switching to that because you're under the same algorithm and you continue to go on without actually switching your shares now however if equihash is the top coin and i'm mining that for an hour and then let's say mona coin which is a lira 2 algorithm switches to the top and therefore my miner switches to that i will lose the shares of equihash i will i will well i'll keep those shares but i won't have the the long-term pplns 
uh, benefits of that. So I need to be mining long term in a PPLNS system to gain my full value of my shares. So to to fix that, um, you just go to to profit switching and set your interval to something pretty high and your profit switching to also something pretty high, like 200 minutes here, and I have the profit switching at 20%. So therefore, my uh, my miner rarely switches, uh, but when it does switch, uh, it's only 200 minutes at a time, which is over three hours, which I'll get a pretty good PPLNS share for over three hours of mining, and then it won't be for 20% additional profit as well. So uh, that's pretty much what I have for you guys. I know that's a pretty short video, but um, so easily the best coin to mine, the most consistent coin to mine is Equihash, plain and simple, uh, w the most consistent algorithm to mine. Because if you go to this site, you'll be a little confused at how, see now, see it was Innova and now it's GoBite. And now Verge is second, Hush is third. So it completely changed the coins. Where is Innova? It's all the way down. It's pretty much gone at this moment. It's all the way down here. That's like what, like the 20th down or maybe the 30th? So it goes just goes to show, if you are chasing the, the, the most profitable coin to mine, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to be in an endless, useless chase. Uh, you're gonna be you're you're, you're gonna be like a dog chasing a car. You're never you're never gonna catch it, and when you do catch it and you start mining it, it will be the most profitable coin for no more than half an hour, maybe an hour at best, and you're not even going to get your the most shares possible out of that coin because everybody else is hopping onto that most profitable coin, and everybody else just like you is going to. Uh, kind of be screwed over by the fact that it's not going to be the most profitable coin for more than 30 minutes. But as you can see, still, Equihash is up at the top. Verge is usually, uh, right now, is, is pretty high. Uh, but mining that is, is easier said than done. You have to make a batch file and get, like, CC Miner and connect to a pool. Uh, whereas uh, Awesome Miner kind of does it for you. You still have to connect to a pool, but once you do it once, it's over, and it'll profit switch you from you from there. And as you can see, Lira 2 is at the top most of the time. And all of the Equihash coins, you can see Hush at the top, uh, Zcash, Bitcoin Gold, Z Classic, and Zencash all at the top here, including the nice hash Equihash as well. So that's why I recommend if you have NVIDIA cards, just set up your awesome miner to have just Equihash and Lira 2. That's it. Uh, if you're switching around all the time, you're actually going to be losing more than if you did with just sticking to one algorithm the whole time because of PPLNS and the difference between prop payout and PPLNS systems. You have to be mining for an extended period of time to get the majority of your shares. And then when you're done uh, with a PPLNS, like if you, if you close your miner after, let's say, 24 hours, you're, you're mining for 24 hours straight and then you turn it off you'll actually continue to receive shares past that 24 hour period for several hours often. Um, you'll still get shares pouring in little by, by little and they'll start to go down a little bit. So PPLNS system is, uh, imagine it like a hill, if you will. So you have a hill and you start with shares down here and you're only getting a little portion, a little portion, then you get to the top and you'll stay at the top as long as you're mining. And then when you stop your miner, it'll, it'll go back down the hill until it ends. Uh, whereas prop payout immediately goes to the top of the hill. The problem is is that, is that that encourages pool hopping, which means that basically people will, will connect to one pool, they'll get their shares, they'll connect to another pool, and that's not really good for the system as a whole. So that's why PPLNS system sort of, sort of took over for the most part in that sense, as you'll see that most pools often run PPLNS as opposed to prop payout. So I hope this guy, I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. Um, so don't chase the most profitable coin. Uh, don't don't try to go after that that top coin because it's going to be top for 20 minutes. As you can see in this video, I started this video and it was literally Innova up here, and I I refreshed. Uh, let's see if it changed again. Uh, it did. It literally changed again in that in that short amount of time. And now it's hush at the top, and Bitcoin Gold is 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 getting to the top. Uh, so you can see the Equihash coins. Look, we have four five Equihash coins. Well, this is technically. Um, a broad Equihash from NiceHash, but we have Zencash, Zcash, uh, Z, Z Classic, Bitcoin Gold, Hush, all the all at the top, and then closely following the Lira 2 coins as well. So just stick to Equihash, and you'll probably make um, much more profit than actually switching around all the time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.